What's up, NFL fans? I'm Emery Hunt, the czar of the playbook, and don't forget to check out and purchase your copy of our latest football game plan book, Stiff Arming Football Myths. We have these available in both PDF and paperback form. Welcome to Football Game Plans Talking with TD. I'm your host, Teron Davenport. All right, once again, talking with TD, we are going to go to the U. We're going to go to Miami, and we're going to bring in defensive back because he can play safety. He can play corner as well. A very good press corner, might I add. We're going to bring in Ladarius Gunner. Ladarius, what's good with you, man? How you doing? I'm doing pretty good. How are you talking? I'm doing really well, man. I appreciate you coming on. And uh, as I've told you before, I was really impressed with you at the Senior Bowl. So I really had to get you on here. I love your press ability. Talk a little bit about just what it is you bring to the table. Let's get right to it. What, what does the team get when they select Ladarius Gunner, the, the press corner? I'm a uh, tall, football corner. I uh, don't mind pressing guys, the bigger guys. Um, I'm a lengthy guy, so I can got plenty of range. And uh, I can play a little bit of safety, but I'm not playing for down the travel. So you get a little bit of both. Um, depends on what you need. One of the things that I noticed at the Senior Bowl, first practice, there was a certain receiver. I mean, you <laughs> you took his lunch money. You know, we talked about that before. What is it that, that makes you such an aggressive corner? Or was that something that you really wanted to show from the start? Uh, no, nah, it's pretty much it's just pretty much in me, man. You know, competition just, just brings out the best in me. And, you know, I can't let nobody run over me, so I got I to gotta hold my own no matter what. Going along with the whole thing at the Senior Bowl, one of the other guys you went up against, your your teammate, Philip Dorsett, you were one of the few that was able to do something with him. You had a nice interception in one of the red zone periods when he ran a slant route. You you ran right through him, made an interception, no pass interference or anything like that. Talk about just as a long corner with, with long arms that likes to press. How do you defend a guy like Dorsett, you know, one of the, the smaller speed guys? You got to uh, make sure you stay on top of it and trust your technique. So, uh, a lot of people, just, just, uh, when they go against different guys, they kind of lose their technique and lose their style of play. But those type of guys are going to be found in what you, uh, what you know and your, your technique. And it's pretty much just, just go through and follow through on that. Okay. Now, as far as in high school, you, you played corner, correct? You played DB? Yeah. Any other positions? No, nah, just probably like corner safety and a little bit outside linebacker. Okay, and then from from high school, Alabama. Actually, you, you you went to high school in Montgomery, Alabama, and that's where you're from. And you ended up at, at JUCO. Was there any offers coming from Alabama when you were coming out of high school? Did did they offer you? No, I didn't get any offers. Uh, due to the fact I didn't qualify. Okay, so then that's why you went to JUCO route. Yeah. Okay, talk a little bit about your experience at, at, at what is it, uh, Fort Scott Community College in Kansas? Yeah. Okay, tell me a little bit. Hum- go ahead. Uh, it was a humbling experience. Uh, made me, molded me into a man. Made me appreciate the thing a lot more. And uh, it just, it just kind of uh, built me for the better. I like it. I like that, and uh, I kind of used it to my advantage. And then you went to the U from there. Were there any other schools looking at you besides the U? Yeah, it was a couple of HBCU schools, Big Ten schools, uh, not that uh, Big Twelve, uh, a couple of those schools, but but I was kind of sold on the uh, University of Miami. Okay, you wanted to go on and continue that legacy, huh? Yeah, yeah, I like that. I like that. Then you you look at the Senior Bowl just in general. I mean, yourself, Duke Johnson obviously wasn't at the Senior Bowl, but you got Philip Dorsett, Clive Wolford, Denzel Perryman. Anthony Chicolo, there's there's a wide range of guys coming out of the U this year that I think are going to be productive in the NFL. Obviously, didn't have the string of seasons that you guys may have wanted to. What do you think went wrong there at the U as far as uh, all that talent being on, on the field but not being able to get that ACC championship? Oh, um, I couldn't put my finger on it. You know, maybe just bad timing. I couldn't fight. Just put my finger on just one thing. Yeah, that makes sense. Now, obviously, you had to go against Florida State. You know, you, you went against uh, Clemson. Who, who were some of the receivers that you had to go against that that stood out, and, and how did you handle them? 
Maybe maybe uh, Calvin Benjamin and probably the Rusty Parker, but other than that, pretty much the machines are pretty much the same. You know, those guys are bigger and faster guys, so you gotta you gotta pretty much put it all together versus those guys and make sure you come to work. One of the things that that people say about you, they like your your height and weight. They like your your aggressiveness, your strong hands. They like how you you swat at the ball even after the receiver makes the catch. They like your aggressiveness. What would you say is your biggest attribute as a defensive back? A physicality. Yeah, I, I agree with that. I, I saw that firsthand at the Senior Bowl. So talk about the physicality, the aggressiveness. How does that come into play when you when you have to come up and, and help out and run support? Um, you just know you gotta uh, you gotta stand your ground. You gotta be a man about it. You know, uh, a lot of people don't like to talk about. I feel that those, those are the first thing that you learn about football. So it kind of stuck with me throughout the year. As far as schemes are concerned. If you were to play corner in the league, are you more comfortable in, in a press man, or, or do you prefer off man? Do you fit into a zone scheme? What is the ideal fit for you as a as a cornerback? Uh, press man, but you no, know, I I got to be willing and able to learn any other scheme and all uh, techniques. So I'm I'm willing to just just give it a try anything. Nice. Growing up, obviously you were in Alabama. Were there any particular football teams in the NFL or any particular players that, that stood out to you, that, the guys that you watched? No. Nah. No favorite player at all growing up? No. Nah. Okay, how about a, a favorite team? No favorite team? No. Nah. <laughs> <laughs> okay, direct right to the point with that one. I like that. <laughs> so let, let's talk about just some of the things at, at Senior Bowl and then also just in the process that we're going through now. What are some of the things, the feed, what's the feedback that you're getting back from scouts and, and guys who are evaluating you? Um, just my ability to pick on it, thank you. Uh, a lot of people want to see me run, those type of things, and um uh, they're impressed with the way I can uh, recall and um, sort of the plays that, that we ran and those type of things, the way I know the whole defense. When is Pro Day at the U? April 1st. April 1st, okay. So what is it that you're going to look to to shine in? What What do you want to do differently from the from the combine? Uh, I'm going to run my 40 again there. Um, I'm just going to do my position as well. Okay, good. Yeah, you know, the thing that you always have to remember is, end of the day, the eye in the sky doesn't lie. And when you put on the tape, I've told you this before, you're a baller. I love your game. I love your aggressiveness. And uh, I really think that being back at the U in a, in a comfortable environment, I think that will give you an opportunity to, to shine. Now, as, as far as the... Um, the reps on the bench, are you going to do that again, or is it just the 40 and, and field drill? Okay, cool, cool. Now, is there a preference? I mean, safety versus corner, is, is there a preference? Is there one position that you would rather play? Uh, I would rather play corner, but honestly, uh, it, it doesn't even matter. How about special teams? I, I know that you, you played on some kick coverage teams at, at the U. Is that something that, that you see yourself being able to do to contribute early in yeah, the NFL? That's how, yeah, that's how I'm going to get on the field my first year. I, I already know uh, that's how you work your way into a starting position. So got to play special teams and they fail at it. Talk a little bit about just how you could contribute on special teams. When, when you were at the U, uh, were you uh, R1 or where did you play particularly on special teams at the U? R1. Uh, uh, I was a... Uh, uh, Jamming, yeah, I was a gunner, and I could uh, feel the thing on return, such as like the front line, those types of things. What's the mentality playing on on kickoff team? I know you have to keep your head on a swivel, and it's almost like a, a no nuts, no glory type of mentality to me. But talk a little bit about the attitude you have to play, have to be able yeah. to to contribute on special teams. That be a mean person, point blank period. <laughs> Plain and simple. Plain and right. simple. So, all right, well, I appreciate you coming on. Uh, go ahead and uh, you're on social media, right? Uh, no, I kind of deleted those. 
Okay, good. That's 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 good to do at this point in time because you never know when something could pop up. But anyhow, I, I definitely wish you the best at at your pro day, and I, I want to get back with you after that at some point in between that and the draft, and uh, get you back on just talk a, a little bit about how that went as well. So I, I wish you the best on that, and um, man, we'll get back together at, at a later date. All right, thank you. All right, thank you. That wraps up this edition of Talking with TD. Be sure to check out all of my interview segments at footballgameplan.com slash talkingwithtd. If you have any questions or people you want me to sit down with, hit me up on Twitter at tdavenport underscore NFL.